What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Tactical Skiing there and Strategies channel. It's your favorite gun owner, Self Made J Skills, signing in today. May God bless each and every one of you and take care of each other. Please don't take my word as solid concrete, but research your gun laws in your state and your surrounding states for traveling purposes. I would love for you guys to share, like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell to my channel now that that's out the way um real excited about something today uscca i just signed up uh for their insurance i'm not going to show the um they sent me a thing with a whole bunch of stuff and i didn't care about that but As you can see, I got me and my wife the Platinum Edition. And what that is, it's 30 bucks a month. But by me adding her to my plan, I only have to pay an additional nine bucks a month to put her, to have her go Platinum, to, to be a Platinum member, to have a Platinum membership as mine. So I thought that was a good deal. Not only did I insure myself but I insure my wife for an extra nine dollars so it's thirty nine dollars a month to uh, uh, for the platinum edition um, because I added her and you know with that you can go on their website USCCA and uh, see what kind of offers they uh, offer it's the Elite, Platinum, and I believe Gold. And I'm in the middle. I got Platinum, um, which I thought was a pretty good deal for $39 a month. They'll just take it automatically off my credit card and go from there. So I'm excited about that, but I just wanted to get that out the way. Oh, and of course, my EDC dump. I've been had this, but I, I wanted to slim it down before I actually started carrying it. My house keys, some almost like some tweezers, um, a U.S. drive so I can save stuff on. A uh, picture of my, my family and my mom. Um, uh, some tools, uh, a little small crowbar, a little, a little mini fa flashlight, um, a box cutter. Not a box cutter, but a, a seat belt cutter, uh, a opener. This is a CRKT tool. I don't, I don't remember where I got it from, but I like it. Um, and this is my toolbox uh, key outside in my garage. Um, of course. Oh, and this is the key bar. So I got all my, you know, important keys in the key bar, which is like a, a army green. Of course, you see this many a times. My uh, wallet, old uh, zombie green. A lot of stuff on flight taking off. Of course, my space pen, my uh, Swiss tool. Of course, my knife with the people that I do my uh, custom, my custom uh, kites holes. They give me a custom knife. Um, my magazine. Uh, and this is a Trayvax, right along with the Trayvax wallet, I got the Trayvax belt. I got to get another one of these because it's chewing up. Um, of course, the um, the Olight Beat Baton 3. I'm not going to play with this too much, but of course, I'm carrying my shield with the um, TRL 6 on it. So, I'm going to put it back in the holster. I don't feel like dumping it or nothing. Of course, my work watch, which I don't care about. Of course, my glasses, because I'm blind. Prescription glasses. And then you got my uh, Samsung watch. My work box cutter. My um, Galaxy earbuds. And that's pretty much it. Um, People do their gun collection. I'm going to do mine piece by piece. I'm going to first start with my shotguns. Which I only own two. I had three, but I sold my. I don't. I want to say it's an MK 
KA 1919 semi automatic shotgun. I wasn't shooting it. I was in in a market to get a um, rifle pistol, so I sold it and ended up building myself. Uh, ended up putting my trigger and my buffer tube, all that on it, but I got the upper complete with the barrel and a gas block and all that already assembled. Um, and I ended up selling it for that. So I, I, I do more shooting with that than I did with my semi-automatic shotgun. But um, this is a rig I keep on me. So if I hear a bump in the night, um, this is on top of my closet. So that's 10 shells that I can just clip onto my belt. As you see, you got a clip. I'm sorry. So you just clip it on your belt and you got an extra 10 rounds of uh, shells on you. Some of these is um, bird shot. Some of my slugs. And this one right here is a, Win I think Winchester make these, uh, PBX-1. It's a buckshot and a slug. All in one. I love these as my self-defense rounds for my home defense. Because they have both, both of our worlds. So I got a total of 10. And, uh, I got a bunch of, as you can see, I got a bunch of slug on there. The green is the slug. So I got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six slugs, two PDX1s, and then two of the um, buckshots. So that's all on there. Um... This one right here, as you can see how big it is, this is a Moxbird 500. I love these. They've been around for centuries. There are some um, good guns. And, of course, I keep some in the tube. But, yeah, I got some in the tube. So, I'm not going to play with it. But, it also has the Magpul um, stock and the Magpul um, pump, which I call this my trick-or-treat. Um, because my birthday is in October, so this is my trick or treat, and it has the um LED um light on it, same color as the um the the um the accessories on it. You know, it got the orange um LED side up front, so in the dark, if I want to, I could be able to see what I'm hitting. I originally got that for my other one, which I'll show in a minute. I only have two shotguns, I don't need six seven shotguns these two they both are pumps they both are by Mars bird um and they do the job so i don't plan to buy any more shotguns but like i said as you see some in the chamber i'm not going to rack it because if i rack it it's going to be one in the two i don't keep one in the two because if anybody come into my house i want to hear them i want them to hear me rack my shotgun but this one stays down in the basement oh and also of course i got a side saddle on it so you're talking about 10 on my belt, one, two, three, four, five, six, six on a, six on a, on a um, saddle, and six in a tube. So total 12, 22 at, at one time. So, you know, that this is my shotgun. Of course, I have the light on it. Um, this one, I have to replace because I was shooting it. Or at least I could find something to stick in there that'll stay, but I really don't want to do the... Removed flashlight, but the button popped off um, a couple years ago when I was actually uh, taking this one to the to the range. So I really don't want to take that off. I got to find something that'll fit in there that'll stay and uh, cut it on and off or whatnot. So this is this, this is my first shotgun I purchased. Um, you know, five hundred, whole six and a two. My long boy. Um, I was actually in the market for looking one. Looking at one, sh another shotgun shorter than that, that could be my EDC carry um, when stuff hit the fan at night. So I end up purchasing, which this is considered an other. And this is the one I keep in my room. Of course, I keep some classic on it because I don't want to ruin. This is kind of tight. But this one I kind of went all out with. Oh, and that one has the heat shield on it as well. So that one has the heat shield. See? Shorter. I needed something shorter so if I come around the corner, um, it'd be hell. You know, I don't have to worry about that one sticking out so far. Um, so this is another Mossberg 500. Uh, another Magpul, but this one is a gray. 
So this one, you know, this is more like a Batman, you know. I actually went out on this. This is a four rail, Picatinny rail um, system that's on it. It goes from the barrel, but you can, as you see, I got a flat, I got a flashlight and laser on the side of it. Come around, you put some on the bottom, you put some on the on the other side. So this is a full Picatinny rail that goes from the barrel all the way back to the end, and it has a side saddle. Oh, where did I put this on? Yeah, it has a side saddle with it. So it's a side saddle with a uh, Picatinny rail on it. Um, it holds five, five in the chamber. And like I said, this one stays in my bedroom with 10 on me. So I have a total on this one. I hope I have a total of 20 shells. Um, this one has a, uh, this one actually has iron sight, flip up my iron sights on it. Um, I kind of wanted to make this somewhat like an extreme tactical shotgun. Um, I didn't take the foreign off because since by it being so short, I want to be able to you know, grips, you know, grips on them. So I kept the original Mossberg um, pump action uh, rail on it. Um, not only that, it has a, and I can't remember where I got this stuff from, but it has a, um, you can actually, you know, hit somebody in the eye with this. It's called a breacher. So I can actually slam it in the door and hit it with a shell. But it's called a breacher. You can also, you know, do some damage with it. Hitting somebody in the head, so that's on the bottom. Um, I got the rail, and I got this from the same exact place, but I can't remember where. I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember where. Um, but this is my other Mossberg. This is one that I keep in my bedroom, just in case anything hits hits the fan. Um, I love it. Like I said green you know with a with a light on it so which i'm in love with this is it's more compact because it's almost like a box like i said it don't stick out that much it kind of do kind of don't but i liked it because it's more boxy it don't stick out it's all you know it's the same size so you know i'm a, i'm a Try to get to the range and start hey, putting in some range footage of these weapons. But this one right here, this is my baby. This is the one I, 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 I hit the fan with. I wanted to put that uh, night sight on this one. But I couldn't remember on... I won't say I, would, I couldn't... I, I, I didn't remember. But I had a problem... And I hope I didn't put red, cause I know we don't put no red Loctite on my bolt, but I think it's blue Loctite, but that didn't want to come out. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to even worry about it. You know, if I need to, I can go up top, use my iron sight so I can go, cause what it is, if you can see, I can look straight down there and see that bead. See that bead? So I can still see my bead at the end. So I can still aim down here and still be able to see my bead. Or I can use my eye sights up top. So I'm not tripping. Um, I might try one day to take it off again and see if I can get it off. If I can, I'm going to take that LED, um, not LED, but the um, night sight off that one and put it on this one. But um, I might keep it on that one. Just order another one if I can get this railing off. But yeah, this this is this is her. Another Mossberg. So I own two Mossbergs. So this is my shotgun collection or my shotgun artillery, whatever you want to call it, um, that I have in my safe or you know upstairs for protection at night. Um, are these two, and they're both from Mossbergs. Let me see it. I love them both. But I'm going to show you. See how short that one is compared to that one? 
See that? So that's why I use this one, and I keep this one downstairs. Um, now, if I'm at home and I'm not downstairs in the basement, I got access to this one. And my gun locker from upstairs, I got access to this one if anybody comes into my house. So I got one for downstairs and pretty much one for upstairs for, for in the night if I need to address the situation at night. So these are the two. I'll do some uh, range footage with these. But um, I'll try to remember where I got this rolling system from. I can't remember. I'll... Um, I don't know. I, YouTube is so funny about putting in descriptions these days. I should have had looked it up before I started this video. But um, if anybody want to know where you can get this rail for your... I think this is a shockwave. Mossberg shockwave. If you want to know where to get this rail from, just inbox me um, down below in the video. And I can I do the research for you and, and get you where I got this particular setup from and I'll let you know but um as you can see Magpul I keep Magpul on my shotguns I keep Magpul on my AR-15 and I keep Magpul on my pistols some of my pistols so Magpul I ain't saying sponsor me but yeah I've spent a lot of money with you guys um and, and dressing up a couple of my guns I know both of my Two of my AR-15 pistols, rifle pistols, and my AR-15 um, rifle, all three of them have Magpul, Magpul stuff on it. So, you know, I love Magpul. Great product, great company. Uh, but, them are my two shotguns. And like I said, I keep this up, um, in my closet right along with my shockwave. And... That, that's about it, you know. Um, I highly encourage you guys. I don't know if this will work for you, but find yourself some insurance. I think it's a, a, a million dollars in civil, a hundred and fifty thousand in something else. I can't remember. Oh, I wish I would have brought that, but I didn't. Um, but if you like, I said, go on the website, USCCA. And they have three plans, gold, platinum, and elite. Uh, so, if you're interested, go on their website. But, um, I'm pretty much finished. I just wanted to get get out here and, and show you guys my shotgun collection or artillery, whatever you want to call it. But I only have two. I had three. I sold my semi-automatic to build my AR-15 pistol, 223-556, which I'll probably do... I got one one rifle, so I might my next one might be my rifle, and then my next one may be my AR-15 rifle pistols, and then I jump down to my pistols, and then I do a whole video on everything. But um, and that's all I wanted. Just wanted to make a, a video about my shotguns. But if you have any questions on where I got some of my accessories for my shotguns. Just leave me a comment down below. I get to my best. Uh, I get back to you the best, um, the earliest as I can. And I'll give you some information about that. But as you, uh, like I said, the bus starts a mad pool. I love the angle. I love the angle of these. I love the way they feel. They feel comfortable in the hand. They got that odd grip, but it works. I love it. So that's the reason why I love Mad Pool on shotguns. Their, their grips are, are excellent. I love their grips on them. Boy, a lot comfortable. Um, so may God bless each and every one of you guys. Take care of each other. And it's your boy, your favorite gun owner, Self Made J Skill signing out. Love you guys. Stay safe. Arm up. And uh hold on to your second I mean uh second. Oh, golly. Golly, am I crazy? Second Amendment. Hold on to you, Second Amendment, man. Um, Like I said, they trying to bash us about owning AR-15s, that we don't need them. Well, I'm not a criminal. 
I don't go out shooting people with my AR-15. My AR-15 stays in the safe. And if anyone wants to come in my house, yes, I need my AR-15 to defend my household and my family. So my thing is, don't put me with the bad guys. I pay my 150 every four to five years to be able to carry what I want when I want, however I want. But don't category me uh, and taking away my right because people want to mass do mass shootings. I never thought in my mind of owning nine years now, my ninth year going on my tenth year, uh, owning firearms to go out and do a mass shooting. So don't take away my Second Amendment because people don't know how to control themselves um, because it's not right to the people that actually buy themselves a gun locker, actually lock their guns up and are very responsible with their guns to 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 take them away from me because y'all say I don't need an AR-15 because people are using those for, uh, mass shootings. Well, I have nothing to do with that. Criminals are not going to the gun store saying, can I purchase a gun? They're getting them off the street illegally and using them illegally. So for me, no, I don't don't take them in my right to be able to own an AR-15 because I am responsible. I lock my guns up. So that's why I believe I should, we shouldn't punish everybody because of everybody's wicked ways. That's just what I think about it. So y'all be safe, man. I'm getting off this. May God bless each and every one. You take care of each other. I'm out.